anybody have any questions before we start? All right. Let's go ahead and start for coach. Okay, Dr. Doug Robertson, the Atlanta Journal Constitution. Nice to see you again. Well, how did it go? Uh, hello, Doug. Uh, very good. Very good. I felt that the energy was there. They took two days off, so sometimes, you know, the first couple of sessions start to warm up a little, a little bit, but it went very well. I love the energy that the kids have, and uh, I just want to keep it up and keep raising the intensity of the team. You said that you uh, were going to talk to the team before about a message you wanted to send to them. Can you share a little bit about what that was? A little bit, but uh, we're going to have a meeting now, okay, uh, and probably I will send uh, more of a message to start starting a couple things. Uh, today was just explaining them the routines and uh, probably the schedule for a daily basis. Uh, and so then later on we will set a couple more expectations. Gonzalo, I'm Joe Patrick with 99 The Game and Dirty South Soccer. Um, I know you wanted to be out here earlier, but yeah, obviously because of COVID you couldn't. But did that period in quarantine help you in any sort of way in terms of just being able to scout this team? Oh, thank you for the question. Uh, I would like to, to think that, yes, it helped me in some ways. It's not what we planned, certainly, but uh, obviously gave me some time to probably prepare a couple things, a couple um, meetings, a couple uh, uh, introduction meetings with other people and uh, watching the, the, the players from outside, from the TV, sometimes gives you a couple different perspective. But obviously it wasn't ideal. I mean, I wouldn't say that I would prefer that every time. Uh, that wasn't ideal, but I took that time in, in, into my advantage, I would say. What, what does stand out to you about this team? Just your first kind of initial impression being out with the on the field today? First of all, very intense team. I would like to even raise that intensity. Uh, what I love about the team, watching them from outside. Last game, I watched them live in DC. And I watched them live when they played against Seattle a couple months ago. And I love that they are dangerous in attack. When Barco takes the ball forward and start to dribble with a space, and then Luis is attacking, Bello is attacking, Joseph is attacking, uh, Brooks Leonard is, are, is attacking. I mean, it looks dangerous. And I like that part. I like uh, that when they are confident, when they are on the ball, they look for the opposing goal, and then we try to score goals. And I like that attitude from the team. Is there a go-to thing in training that you like to do with the team, like today, the 5-on-5s the five that you like to do each week, and why? Well, I would like to always to, to finish with some sort of games at the end of the of the session, whether it's a small side games, medium side games, or large side games, just for the competitive side of it. And they get used to compete, compete, compete for winning, compete for winning. And that's the idea. We work in certain things, obviously very specific to what we're working. They know that. And after that, we'd see if they apply in the game. That's the, that's the reason why. Coach, uh, Reggie Chapman from 11 Alive. Can you kind of speak to what this team has been able to do recently over the last couple of weeks, this little winning streak they've kind of been on? And you know, what can you kind of take from that, I guess, moving forward? I would say the mentality stand out for me, the mentality of the team. Uh, last game, especially, coming, uh, uh, playing away, uh, after the equalizer from DC, uh, I could see the guys stepping up and trying to win the game and, and trying to create chances, even though at times they can go in the corner just to hold the ball a little bit, but they try to score. And I love that part. I don't want to take that away from, from the players, especially our attacking players. I love they want to attack, they want to create chances. So that mentality of never giving up, that's what is going gonna, is gonna to stand out for this team. Coach, Sandy with uh, Atlanta Thank you for that question. Thank you very much because, yes, uh, Rob has been fantastic uh, with the players first, which is the most important one. He was able to transmit a different vibe, probably uh, a little bit uh, calm them down in a tough period of time. And uh, ultimately, with uh, me and Diego, introduction in the, to the coaching staff. And uh, he's been fantastic, super humble person, uh, hard worker, super hard worker and willing to learn. And I, I need that type of assistance next to me. And Rob has been just amazing. So, so, so kudos to, to Rob. Hey, Paolo, I'm Sam Jones with MLS. Uh, in Seattle, you guys had success this year switching to a back three. Atlanta's had some success recently switching to a back three, but the players have talked a bit about being in a, there being a lack of connectivity in the midfield. Um, are you really committed to doing a back three?
back three going forward against most of the same principles that are coming Well, I would say I'm never committed to one formation. I'm always looking for opportunities to uh, improve the team. Sometimes it's based on the formation, sometimes it's changing the lineup, sometimes it's just passing across a couple coaching points. Uh, but I'm always looking for different shapes of the team, I would say. As of now, I would like to continue with the back three and just work a little bit in that connectivity that you just said. Uh, work a little bit with the connections between Moreno and Barco and Luis and uh, Joseph and the wing backs more engaged into the attacking uh, uh, side. So yeah, just working in different variations of that shape in the middle with four, whether it's a box, whether it's a diamond, whether sometimes a midfielder goes outside in between center back wing backs. So there are a couple ideas there to create more options for them. Uh, so, in some ways, I'm always looking for different shapes. What's the, what's the biggest difference between what Seattle has done in the back three and what you've seen from the back three? Well, it's a very, very, very hard to compare because uh, way different players, uh, different characteristics, and, and regardless of the shape, yes, that's important, but the players are the ones that make the difference, not the formation. So, I would like to say that I'm always looking just for my team, how they can be better, and don't compare them to other clubs. Is there anything else here for Coach? Yeah, I'll go. Go ahead. Bienvenido, entrenador. Gracias por este tiempo para la prensa. Para Conexión Deportiva, Joseph Martínez, en el tiempo que estuvieron jugando con Rob Valentino, en esa transición, nos decía el cambio de mentalidad que hicieron los jugadores y el mismo entrenador decía no hubo mucho que hacer. Sin embargo, lo que se ha dicho en la prensa ha sido... Eh, bueno, que habían demasiadas reglas con el entrenador anterior. ¿Usted es un entrenador de reglas o es un entrenador que da libertad a los jugadores? Ah, primero que nada, estoy totalmente de acuerdo con lo que dijo Rob y, y Joe. Ah, creo que siempre todo pasa por los jugadores. El cambio de mentalidad, el cambio de actitud, como lo quieran llamar, siempre pasa por los jugadores. Crédito para ellos total. Ah, después, eh, te diría que soy un entrenador de comunicación. Me gusta poner ciertas líneas, ciertas referencias, pero soy más de comunicarme con los jugadores, ver dónde se sienten cómodos. Hay cosas que no son negociables, pero hay otras que sí. Hay otras que me gusta preguntar al jugador en dónde se sienten más cómodos, pero no soy un dictador para nada. ¿Quieres decir en inglés o eso está bien? Sí, está bien. 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 Playoffs or whatever it is. Yeah, well, it's, it's hard to predict a place in, in the standings. Uh, MLS is not easy. There are so many good teams, so many good players, so many good coaches that it's hard to predict a place. What I would say is we're going to fight certainly for a spot in the playoffs. That's the first objective, as high as possible. So as higher on the standings as possible. But after that, we will see. Uh, obviously, I don't want to put any any set of limit also for for the players. So uh, whatever I say, it, it can turn into a limit, and I don't want to limit my players. I mean, you come from a team in Seattle where they're kind of famous for maybe not playing so well for a certain portion of the season, but getting themselves in the playoffs and then going on a run. Uh, do you kind of hope to impose some of that experience on, on this group? No, I don't want to play poorly at any moment <laughs> of the season. And I can tell you that in Seattle, uh, in my time there, I never wanted that happen. I always wanted to be competitive. And that's what I want here from, from game one. I want to compete and be the best version of that the players can be. Uh, that's the objective always. But uh, at some point, I understand your question. I think the last part of the season, I would say I would like to be consistent and I would like to kind of maintain the same lineup and the same formation so the players can have some consistency and they can get more connections and get used to each other. Uh, yes, I would like to say that at the end of the season, that, that is uh, key for me. Gonzalo, your first couple of days as a head coach, uh, what do you think you've done well in your first couple of days and what do you think you've been able to do? I think it's, it's hard to say now at this moment after two days, well, one and a half, what I've done well, what I've done bad. Uh, I, I would like to evaluate myself and assess myself probably in a longer period of time, I would say. What I can say is I'm super happy with the meetings I've, I have had within the organization. It's a great organization, great people working here silently, sometimes in the shadows, sometimes in the offices, but they are great, great looking to improve the team and to connect with the, with the uh, society, with the fans, with the community, uh, and also to improve the team. So I'm super happy with 
the whole organization in general. Anything else? Done? Is Left this going to be common? 30 minutes open to the media, or is this just kind of a one-time thing? Mm -hmm. It's up to them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> on the <spot>. Yes. <laughs> Anything else, guys? All right, that's it for the scrum. We'll go into our one-on-ones now. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.